Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, this video, we're going to take a look at some DIY detail products, specifically in this video, the rinseless wash and the ceramic gloss. Let's do it. Before we get this video started, if you like detailing videos, product review videos, ceramic coating videos, how-to videos, and videos like that interest you, take a second, go down below the video, hit the subscribe button, and turn the little bell right next to this so every time I upload a video, you do get notified. So DOI Detail is a rather new company, you guys. It is owned by Nick from Hawks Pro Detailing and Ivan LaCroix, which is most well known for Optimum No Rinse, O&R, and the McKees N914, which I haven't used. Um, he's most well known for that, and he does have a YouTube channel also, you guys. Ivan reached out to me. Um, he had mentioned these products to me, asked me if I was willing to try them. I said, absolutely. Product we're going to look at in this video, one of them is going to be the rinseless wash. This has emulsifiers and polymers in it, you guys, to give you a safe wash and to make the paint look absolutely great when it's done. Um, it is a half ounce per gallon, basically, or one, one ounce per two gallons of water. Um, so it's very highly concentrated, which is what you expect of a product that he creates. Um, it smells really nice, just a nice, clean smell. Um, so I'm extremely excited to try that. And then the next one is ceramic gloss. This is a ceramic detail spray. You can use wet or dry. In this video, we will be using it wet. So as the panel's wet, after I use the rinseless wash, I'm gonna spray this on the towel, spray on the panel, and then we're gonna dry the panel because the majority of all wash and do scratches come during the drying process using basically just a towel. Even a microfiber towel on its own will scratch the paint. You need some type of lubricity between the paint and your towel to give you a nice safe drying experience we're going to do that and it's going to add a little bit of protection to the paint now i did get a brand new lake country wash sponge um, and i wanted to make sure that i put it in the bucket and i let it soak for 24 hours so the video you're going to see come up here in a minute me showing you me putting the products in or the product into the bucket and into my sprayer i made last night because i wanted to get the sponge um, soaking for 24 hours before I go and use it being a brand new sponge so I didn't scratch the paint during the rinse and swash process. We'll be doing it on our 2017 Dodge Journey. It got a bunch of rain on it. Um, you guys will see it's not terribly dirty, um, but this is about as dirty as I want paint to be to do a rinse and swash. But either way, we're going to spray it on with the, with the uh, pump up sprayer that I have, let it dwell for a second, let, it, let the emulsifiers work, and then we'll go in contact with the wash sponge. We'll be dipping the water frequently. Um, and then we'll dry it with the ceramic gloss and we'll see what the paint looks like, you guys. So let's check it out. All right, you guys. So the directions state one ounce of rinseless wash to two gallons of water. We have three and a half gallons, give or take, in here. Um, the cap is a half an ounce. So what we're going to do, we're gonna, just going to do four of these just to play it safe. Act like there's four gallons in here because there might be. It's kind of close. So we're just going to do four capfuls. One. Two, three, and then four. This stuff smells really, really nice. Just a nice clean scent. I have a brand new Lake Country pad. Let me show you the old one. This is how much I do rinseless washing, you guys. So this is my Lake Country pad. This is my new one. <laughs> They're both Lake Country. So this is the night before I'm actually deciding to wash the car. What I want to do... I want to get this sponge in here. I swirl this water around really good. And I want this sponge to just soak overnight tonight because it's a brand new sponge. We're just going to put a top on this. And that's it. Now I need to get my spray bottle ready for the rinseless wash also. I have roughly 50 ounces in here. Um, so if you're doing an ounce per two gallons, that's a half an ounce per gallon. And this is less than half a gallon. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I'm going to fill this cap up about halfway. That'd be about a quarter of an ounce. Right there. And that should be good. And then tomorrow, start washing the car. All right, you guys. So here is the car. And as you can see, we got junk all over it. And the reason why it looks the way it does is that is water with salt in it because we were expecting snow here in Indiana and then we got a bunch of rain 
So all the salt and water mixed together and got kicked up. Like I said, this is the dirtiest I want to see a car that I rinse or wash. I have rinse or wash cars dirtier than this, but I don't like to. Sometimes you have to do what you got to do. When you live in a state like I do, where, where winter can be pretty nasty. And the back of it is the majority of the bad stuff too. Just look at the glass. Even back here on what I would call the rear spoiler. All over the bumper. And it's, don't ever do this to your car, but it's kind of rough. But that's why we're going to spray it first with the pump-up sprayer. Let the emulsifiers get in there and soften a lot of this up. And then we, we'll go in and clean it. I'm going to do this half of the hood. I'm just going to get it good and wet. I probably ought to pump it up first. Hey, there we go. Okay, we're going to let it do its thing. We don't want the sponge to be dripping wet, you guys. We just want it to be wet. And that's about it. I shook up the, the bucket really good. One thing I noticed is this kind of foams up nicely. So as you notice, there's no water dripping off. It's wet. And that's all we're going to do. I mean, this really isn't a science, you guys. It just glides. Look at that. Just glides across the paint, which is what you want. And then we're going to take the ceramic gloss, three good sprays, spray into the drying towel. Very nice. Show you guys what that looks like. Now you can't look at this stuff up here. These are rock chips and all that good stuff. But so from this to this. You guys know me in my videos when something smells good, I continue to say it. Man, this stuff smells really good. And the paint looks amazing compared to what we started with, which was this. You kind of just see the film of dirt. Look at that. All right, I'll finish the hood. So I want to show you guys something. When you have a bug deflector like this or a rock guard, whatever you want to call it, obviously you're going to have dirt and stuff down in here. This is where the towels come in handy. So I'm going to dip it into the water. I'm going to wring it out. I don't want it soaking wet. Sorry about me sniffing. I've kind of had a cold. I'm going to stuff it down in there. And I'm just going to lightly, and sometimes you got to kind of pull the bug deflector forward. I'm just going to lightly run that towel through there, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take the drying towel, which already has a ceramic gloss on it. I can still feel it. I'm going to do the exact same thing, nice and slow, not put any pressure down, and that's how you clean underneath a bug deflector, because you don't want to take your bug deflector off every single time you wash your car. Okay, so same thing over here, except for going to let it dwell just a little bit longer in these really dirty spots, um, just to make sure that the emulsifiers get in there and kind of break this down and make it a lot safer since this is kind of rough. It's not terrible, but it's a little bit rough. I just want to be on the safe side. We're just going to get in there. We're going to spray it really good. Like that. We're going to let it sit. And what that's doing is it actually kind of pulling that dirt off the, off the surface. We're just going to go in just like on the hood 
start at the top, work our way down. Okay, now in the really dirty spots, I'm just gonna go down like this. As you can see, we have dirt in the sponge now. Flip it over to the cleaner side, same thing. Go in here and rub it against my grit guard. I actually have the detail guards pump in there. Okay, so as you can see, we are now clean again. No more dirt. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, except for this time it's nice and clean. And I can feel it, oh my gosh, it feels great. This stuff's got plenty of lubricity to it. And that's it. One, three good sprays. Take our drying towel. Try to not get into that door if I can, which can be about impossible. Flip it over to the dry side. Man, it feels so good. It feels so good. And that panel is done. And it looks amazing. Let me grab you guys really quick. Look how nice that paint looks. Glossy. And then you get over to the side. Okay, so on this door, the whole entire door is covered. We're gonna to wanna to start at the top where the least amount of dirt is and get it soaking. Okay, we're gonna let that soak. Let me get it right here really quick. There we go. Let that soak for just a minute. Make sure our sponge is good and clean. I'll show you guys this. See, it's kind of foaming up. I guess you can use this stuff actually in a foam can or even like an IK foamer, which is cool. Okay, we're gonna start the top. Just like this. Gonna work our way around. Now, see, bunch of dirt. The grit guard will help remove it and the slits in the sponge help trap it so you don't end up um, messing your paint up. Once again, a bunch of dirt. And the grit guard is going to hold all the junk underneath of it. Yeah, your water will look a little bit dirty. Ivan actually has a video showing it, his water and what the grit guard actually does. Now, I went a little bit lower than I probably should have. As you can see, there's a bunch of garbage down there. That, I'm gonna scrub it, okay? Rinse it out, or not rinse it out, but squeeze it out, it's all gone. Rinseless washing when done correctly is just as safe or sometimes safer than your typical wash process. That one's pretty wet now. It just feels so nice. All right, let me show you guys what that one looks like and I'm gonna get this car done. Sorry about my hand there. There we go. We started with this. We come to this. You can see it's dirt, but I don't have a clear bucket to show you guys. But in his video, underneath the grit guard, which he had the same grit guard I do, I believe, it was black. Up here was just kind of this color. All right, you guys, so it is done. You can see it looks fantastic. Paint looks really good. Do not look at the wheels and tires. I've not done those yet. I'm actually probably gonna do the wheel wells 
with that old Lake Country sponge that I have. Use it for that type, not throw it away. The roof is done. Back end, where bad the glass was. No glass cleaner, you guys. All I used was a rinseless. Looks great. The heck is that? Oh, okay. All right, you guys. So I am very, very happy with both of these products. The rinseless wash is great because it's concentrated. You only need basically, like the, my bucket, I put two ounces in it. Um, and then my sprayer, I put like a quarter of an ounce in it. Plenty of slickness, plenty of lubricity to it. Um, being that it has the uh, emulsifiers in it and the polymers makes it a safe wash. The paint looks incredible. Um, so no complaints out of that and the smell. It's really good. They both smell about the same, which is nice. Um, just a very nice smell. And the reason I always like to point that out is because back when I first started detailing, products smelled awful. Every company that I used did not smell good. It's nice to have products that smell good. Um, but the rinseless wash is fantastic. I really like it. My favorite word, fantastic. The ceramic gloss, great. It is awesome. Uh, spray it on the surface, spray it on the towel. And then what I kind of did after I spray it on the towel the first couple of times, I stopped spraying it on the towel and only sprayed it on the surface. Wipe it down, it dries up quick. And what I just noticed a minute ago, I felt the back of my finger, because I never touch it with my finger, my actual fingers when the car is clean. The back of my finger, the panels are slick, which is awesome. So we added some SO2 protection to it, you guys, um, and used it as a drying aid so we didn't scratch the paint. So both these products, two thumbs up, great products right there. In the future, I will have videos on these. Now it is very cold here in Indiana. It's like 15 degrees outside. We're expecting a ton of snow this weekend and ice and rain, just everything. Indiana is stupid. Um, but so the incredible suds and the quick beads, I won't get to probably till spring. Um, quick beads is a spray on rinse off protection. Um, kind of like the best I can compare it to is like a Gion wet coat is what it's supposed to be like, that kind of thing. Um, and then, but it's graphene. And then, but these two products right here, I will get to before then because you have the interior clean and protect, which is your interior detailer. Um, and then you have interior ceramic. Um, and then I also received their clay towel, which is definitely different than what I have used before with these holes in it. It's supposed to actually kind of hold the dirt in um, so you don't actually, you know, rub it across your paint. Um, and then I did get a sample of their ceramic coating. So I'm interested in trying all these products out, you guys. I want to say thank you so much to Ivan and Nick for sending me these products. I really appreciate it. These two products right here, you guys, you will absolutely love. I will leave links in the description of the video where you can find these products on their website. I make no money off this video, you guys. I make no money off you guys buying the products. I'll just put it in there for you guys so you got an easy way for you guys to find both those products. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and checking it out. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.